Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and it may be summer, but things are still moving out of the mountain. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. That means I go to garage sales in the summer. I also go to estate sales. I go to thrift stores sometimes. I haven't been to a thrift store, actually, in months because it's garage sale season, and that's where the best ROI is for me in my area. And when I go to those places, I buy things, then I bring them home and sell them for a profit online. I do that mostly on eBay. And it is summer. Typically, things in summer slow down a little bit because people are not on their computers, on their phones. They're outside. They're enjoying the weather. And we just came off of a holiday weekend that usually slows things down a little bit as well. But Things are still popping here in the mountain. Very happy with what is moving out the door. So let's go take a look at it. Solid little batch to start us off here. We got this guy. This is an old Mego figure, Planet of the Apes. This is a uh, it's sort of a generic soldier is what this is. And unfortunately, you can see one hand there and no hand there. This soldier lost his hand in a tragic Planet of the Apes accident. And I did pick this up with another that's uh, Cornelius or Galen. You can't actually tell between those two figures. They actually pretty much use the same mold. And so I've got that one listed. That one actually is, is worth a little bit of money. This one, not so much, mostly because of the broken hand. I got them both for five bucks total. And this guy, I took an offer of $12 plus shipping. So we're already in the profit off a guy with a busted off hand. Not bad. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is a, a game guide, strategy guide. Pick this up at the same sale as uh, that kaiju figure from NECA that you saw in the last What Sold. I got this and another Star Wars strategy guide. They sell pretty well. This one, $19.49 plus shipping. This I picked up at the 50 mile garage sale. These old Sony micro cassette recorders tend to do pretty well. I paid $5 for this and it sold for $48.74 plus shipping. And it sold inside of uh, about a week and a half, two weeks, something like that. Viewer sale here. This from the old Fisher Price set from the, from the farm. And this is going to Virginia, uh, Virginia, two forty nine dollars plus shipping on this. I think I had it at two ninety nine dollars and sent out an offer, and turned out it was to Virginia. She said she's going to give this to her older brother, who uh, is the rooster in his chicken coop. So, <laughs> Virginia, she said she thought uh, he would think that's pretty funny and appreciated the offer. So, uh, thank you so much for that. I, I think this is a, a cool little piece, so glad to send that out to you. We've got Masters of the Universe. This is a newer Motu figure, but this is Brack, $449 plus shipping. I think that was $499, and I sent that offer. That is an autograph there by Scott Grimes. He plays that character on American Dad. He plays Steve. And for that, I got $13 plus shipping. This came from the same sale as that guy, and our Godzilla figures, who you'll see this guy here in just a second. But this, the Vault Tech. And I got for this $9.98 free shipping, but we'll get a few bucks off of that anyway. Chive, this is from the Linux Spice Village collection. We've been selling these for a while. 100% profit on all of these. And these are little bolos. They sell quite well. The little lid comes off, and then you store your various spices in there and they're pretty cool some of them pretty valuable and this one sold for $22.74 plus shipping here we got some pins some more pins going out uh we got which ones here these all went i'm not sure if this is to a i think this is to a viewer didn't leave a message but keith picked up four of them we got an old bush beer there's another bush also the the logo just not the uh the can and a couple other cans. Got an old Schlitz light can. And then over here, we've got a Stroh's beer can. And so all of those vintage pins going out to Keith. Keith, thank you so much. I sure appreciate it. 80 years of Cadillac LaSalle. This is a pretty cool book. I picked this up at an estate sale and uh, only paid a couple bucks for it. 
And the pictures in this are really, really neat. And that's what it does. It goes year by year. And so if you're a car guy and you like the caddy, good book for you. And this is a relative, I mean, look at all that. A relatively rare book. And it sold for $28.92. I, th I think that was a 5% offer that I sent out. We got a plush SpongeBob Square Pants. That stuff does tend to sell. $15.99 plus shipping for that guy. We got a snap on hat back here. And this is super cool. Vintage, like the satiny checkered flag look. Such a cool hat. And this one, $19.49. Plus shipping, bringing us to Godzilla. And this is the orange eye version of Godzilla. Really cool figure. And I picked up a whole bunch of Godzilla figures. I got them all listed. I think we got, I don't know, six or seven of them, something like that. One of them is like two feet long. It's huge. Uh, this one, it will be easier to ship this then what it might look like because you can see right there his tail comes off it actually comes off there and i think at the tip so we can take him apart and send him that way and that way fit him in a smaller box he's not super valuable we paid five dollars a piece for them but that one piece that we sold the other day 81 dollars 82 dollars something like that that paid off everything so they're all profit and so we went back and forth on this guy this morning and finally settled on a counter offer of twenty dollars plus shipping then guys i'm actually packing up over here and realized that i forgot a couple so we're going to add these two here to this batch is going to the same customer. I actually listed these last night. I'd gone all day. It was so busy. Didn't get anything listed. So I dove into my video game pile just because I could list 10 video games really quickly. And two of them sold overnight. And so these both for the Sega Genesis and all total 68.23 plus shipping for flashback and out of this world. And a solid little bunch to finish us off. A couple of viewer sales in here as well. Thank you guys so much. This guy, 20Q. This thing is so cool. And they sell all the time for me. The value has gone down just a little bit. But they still do sell, definitely. As long as you price them right. And you can usually get them at garage sales for pretty cheap. And I sold this guy for $9.98 plus shipping we do have a viewer sale here we got the old michelangelo Let's see if we can get him there and see the cowabunga on one side and then the thumb up on the other and this going out to kyle uh, kyle and his wife husband wife reseller team appreciate you guys watching so much three dollars plus shipping for that guy i hope you enjoy little vintage tmnt piece got a camera this has been sitting around look at this it's been sitting around on my shelf for some time but i do well with these old slr cameras especially if they've got i mean look at this classic strap i knew it would sell i just listed it and you just wait for the buyer to come along and this is a nice setup minolta xga this one's going down to puerto rico 61.74 plus shipping on that guy almost dumped this off sold another pin this is one of the bush beer can pins this one sold for 8.99 plus shipping we party this is complete it's got the manual in it everything i paid 25 dollars for a wii system and a bunch of games this actually the only thing that i've listed so far just because i knew it'd be a quick seller and we'd get back even on that purchase this thing sold for 35 dollars 10 cents plus shipping another game here this a low dollar game but it sold within i don't know a week probably three four days this is metal gear solid playstation 2 this one 8.99 free shipping we've got britney spears this is one that i actually picked up at the 50 mile sale a year ago it's been sitting around for a year in my store i got this out of a free box and I got a whole lot of low offers on this one, but I knew if I just let it sit, eventually somebody would come around. And this does have some decent value on it. It's actually going international, guys. $18.19 plus $21 international shipping. 
to go over to France. So somebody really wants that old Britney Spears Baby One More Time cassette. And we did actually make a big cassette buy here uh, yesterday. If you saw my Instagram post, I bought a basically banana box size full of cassette tapes. So we've got a bunch of them listed in the store already. I'm going to continue listing them. Looks like a lot of 80s stuff in there. I've not even gone through it. I'm just grabbing bunches at a time. We'll sell individual stuff and then we'll move on to doing some lotted cassettes as well. Another viewer sale here. This all one purchase. We've got another pin. This is the Cowboy Cadillac pin. Got the old pickup truck there. And then another Kermit pin. He's got the trench coat and a uh, hat. I said something about maybe Detective Kermit, I think, recently. And somebody says, no, that's TV Kermit. It's Frog on the Street. So there you go. This is a uh, news reporter Kermit. We got those two pins and those bought together $12.18 plus shipping. We'll get you certainly some of that shipping back. And then John Wick, this is the two film collection. This is one and a two, still new and sealed. This one, $6.57 plus shipping. And it's going out to Derek. And uh, he said he and his son Maverick watch all the videos. And so, uh, guys, I appreciate it. Maverick, your dad is a good guy. He's got you watching the right stuff. So thank you so much. I sure appreciate you guys for picking that up and for the support. Solid bunch of sales, really happy with those, especially sort of midweek. A lot of times that's when things slow down for me before picking back up on the weekend. So maybe good things are in store for me this weekend. I've been listing a whole lot of stuff lately, picking up stuff that's really easy to list out of my death pile and out of recent purchases. That way I can list more at once and sort of pump up the algorithm. Hopefully I've been listing a whole bunch of cassettes, a whole bunch of video games, stuff like that, where I can move through a bunch of them quickly and get 12, 15, 20 listings up a day. I think that it's been helping our sales over the last 31 days, actually up 6.5% as of this morning. So happy with what's going on right now. I hope things are working out for you. I'm hearing mixed reports from people. Some people are doing very well or normal. And some people are saying, I haven't heard that cha-ching in days. And, you know, I there's no real answer for that. I don't, you know, nobody can actually explain eBay. eBay can't explain eBay. I don't know why things happen. But we just got to keep pushing forward and do the things that we do. So uh, thank you for joining me for the sales I do have before we leave. Look at the cool thing I found. You guys have been sending me stuff, and I'm getting to those as I can. Thank you so much for doing that. And thank you for subscribing, those of you that are subscribers. If you're not, subscribe down below. It's free. It's easy. Hit the thumb. Helps me out a ton as well. Commenting helps me out a ton. We actually moved over 13,000 subscribers overnight which is really cool. So I appreciate all of that support. But let's move on to uh, look at the cool thing I found. This one coming to you from Ron. He said he hit Goodwill on his way home from work and was sort of going in anticipating a bust, right? I mean, you never know what you're going to find at a thrift store or at Goodwill in particular. You never know if the prices are going to be right. And, you know, after work, it's later. All of the resellers, all the pickers have been in there. But Ron came away a winner. He not only found some new with tags, Ralph Lauren, new with tags, Columbia. He found a Callaway polo. He said he found some vintage Merrill boots. That would have been a good thrift trip. But then he found this NCAA football 2014 for the Xbox 360. There are a lot of duds in sports video games, guys. They were way overproduced and they made a new one every year. And so th there's not a whole lot of value in those. You can't even sell those to pawn shops in most places. They, they just, they don't sell. There are, though, gems inside of pretty much every category, and that includes sports video games and NCAA football, one of them. And that's because there was a time they're actually bringing that back. Or have they already brought it back? I, I don't know if it's come back out yet or not, but they announced that it was going to be making a return but they stopped making it. And like with anything, if it's the last year that they made that particular, what's it? Sometimes 
the value is increased. That's certainly the case for NCAA 14. Check out the comps here. This thing sounds extremely well. Ron said he thought he'd never find it in the wild, let alone complete. This thing was complete, which is incredible. So Ron, fantastic find. I'm thrilled for you. I've never found one of them. One of these days, maybe, of course, by the time I find it, it's going to be out again and it's not going to be worth anything, but it doesn't matter. I'll have still checked it off the list. I'm very happy for you, my friend. Good job. If you find something cool and you want to share it with the class, my information is down below. Also want to let you know that uh, tomorrow, Friday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be doing another quick comic auction on whatnot. And we're going to run through, I don't know, three dozen or so comics and uh, you can come on in and get a good deal on those good deals to be had for sure during our comic auctions. And I'm excited to be able to get those to you, whether for your personal collection or if you want to sell them, whatever you want to do, you can come on by. My information for whatnot is in the description as well. Guys, I'm going to let you go. We'll see you.